It's so a lot. first of all, I'm going to speak some hard truths because that's what I've always done. We are $31 trillion in debt. Yep. We are borrowing money just to make our interest payments. <clears throat> Through all of that, it's easy to blame Biden. Republicans did this to us too. There are no saints in Washington, D.C. <laughs> it was Look at what that COVID stimulus bill that passed with no accountability, $2.2 trillion, passed the House 419 to 6, passed the Senate 96 to 0. Republicans and Democrats did that. Look at the last administration and all the spending that happened. They expanded welfare with that. Now we have 90 million people on Medicaid in this country, 42 million people on food stamps. And so how do Republicans respond to it? Get ready. They open back up earmarks for the first time in 10 years. In December, they pushed through 7,000 earmarks. Oh my gosh. We're talking spending like seven and a half million on horse racing in Arizona, 12 million on a baseball stadium oh in New York, gosh. 15 million for New Jersey to get the World Cup. All this while one in six Americans can't make their utility payments. 60% yeah. of Americans are in credit card debt. We need to look in the mirror and realize Republicans are just as much to blame as Democrats. So now, how do we fix it? First thing is claw back the 500 billion of unspent COVID money that's still out there. Instead of having IRS agents go after middle America, go after the hundreds of billions of dollars in COVID fraud that we know exist. Make sure we stop the spending. I will veto any bill, any spending bill that doesn't take us back to pre-COVID levels. No more earmarks for anyone. If we know 15% of our budget is interest, quit borrowing, cut up the credit cards. We don't do it in our homes. We don't do it in our businesses. Why is Congress exempt from that? Exactly. And, make sure, yes. and make sure that we go after the entitlement reform that I talked about. That's how you'll start to pay down debt. If we don't do this, our kids will never forgive us for this. Mm -hmm. And that means we have to speak hard truths to Republicans and to Democrats. Yes. That's the only way we're really going to get to the solution. And, you know, we can do this, but it's going to take hard work and it's going to take hard truths to get it done. And I have, I'm not afraid to, I did that in South Carolina. I had a Republican House and a Republican Senate, and I beat them over the head about spending and reminded them it was taxpayer money. It wasn't their money. Right. 